brakes are pretty important when riding motorbikes. Especially for two strokes with the poor engine braking. If you don't want to get wrapped around the next bystanding tree because of a dysfunctional brake, you better take care of your brake disc. You might say, but all the pro riders aren't using any guards for the brake discs. That's not entirely true, although I've never seen top riders like Graham Jarvis or Johnny Walker using them. Mostly it's about accessibility when servicing the bikes in between longer events. Also, they can just get a replacement brake disc if the old one is damaged. As I'm no pro rider with tons of replacement parts in a team truck, I decided to get some protection on my gas gas. In an earlier video I talked about the bash plate I fitted on the bike recently. Mounting the disc guard takes a bit of time and especially the front disc guard was a bit of trial and error until I had the axle back in. Rear brake disc guards like this one are usually made of aluminum and are meant to protect the brake disc from hitting hard obstacles. There I hit a rock which could have damaged the disc if it wasn't protected. Front brake guards are usually not that strong as they mostly are made of plastic. They are built to keep off mud or little rocks. Most time you will see pro riders in motocross using those guards for keeping the brake disc clean. In enduro it can be useful too, but the brake could overheat easier due to less airflow. I tend to say that rear brake disc guards are really useful, especially if you're riding lots of technical and rocky trails. The front disc guard, however, is more a piece of bling, which protects the disc just a bit. If the front disc lands hard on a sharp rock, the piece of plastic won't help much 